Welcome to Willisbury Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. It's Easter Monday, 1985, and we're just seeing the officials meet at the centre of the pitch for this slalom championship encounter between Lee in the red and white hoops and Warrington. The referee this afternoon is Kevin Allard of Southport. It's a bright afternoon. Not much sun, but quite bright. And the pitch looks superb for open rugby. John Woods, the league captain. And coach kicks deep. Paul Cullen, sorry, Paul Fellows gathers on the wires 25. Wire in possession. That's Glenshaw back in action with the first team. Carl Webb, Andy Gregory. That's Mark Leave. Ken Kelly to Andy Gregory. Short ball there. Tommy Gittins, he loses it, but nearly gathered by Mark Roberts. But Lee in possession. Lee with a much under strength team through injuries. Had problems feeling the team today, Lee. Talked to Brian Bowman, their football chairman, earlier. Glenshaw driving the lead player back. Pike. That's Derek Pike, number 10 for the Lee. Give the teams as we go along. The Warrington team, the number one, Paul Ford. Number two, Paul Fellows. That's Mark Foster gathering, number five for Wire. Gets a nice pass in, but it's almost a suicide pass to Paul Ford. Foster again with it, hands heavily strapped. On the Warrington 25. Number three for wire is Paul Cullen. Number four is Paul Unane. That's Andy Gregory with the ball at the moment to Ken Kelly, who gets a pass in. Who turns it to Snowy Fellows on the right wing? Lee looked offside. Ken Kelly with the ball to Carl Webb. Carl Webb going down with that ball. Mark Foster's number five for Wire. Ken Kelly's number six. Andy Gregory at seven. That's Tommy Gittins with the pass to Andy Gregory. Short pass to Glenn Shaw. Players on Tommy and he's still not down. Carl Webb done the half. Andy Gregory. And Warrington forwards at number eight, Glenn Shaw. Number nine, Carl Webb. Number ten, Mark Lee. Number eleven, Tom Gittins. Number twelve, Mark Roberts. Number thirteen, Bob Eccles. And that's Bob Eccles doing the tackling. Present in possession, number one, Sean Fairhurst, number two, Paul Burke, number three, John Henderson, at four, John Woods, five, Phil Fox, six, Phil Johnson, seven, Gary Stevens, eight, Darren Ramsdale. Nice break here from Paul Ford, the Warrington fullback. As I said, the Lee Pack, number eight, Darren Ramsdale, number nine, Ray Tavern, number ten, Derek Pike, number eleven, Tony Cottrell, at thirteen, Paul Halfman, four, uh, thirteen, Roy Howarth, fourteen, Darren Bazant, and fifteen, A. N. Other. So it's Wire, with Andy Gregory in possession inside to Glenn Shaw. Inside the Warrington half, Bob Eccles has it, playing it loose forward today. Five tackles gone, says the referee, Kevin Allard from Southport. Paul, Paul puts in a kick to touch, and it looks like a good one. That was a superb kick. Well, the pressure's on Lee now.
blood to Warrington with a blind try on the blind side. Bob Eccles treated threatened the long arm out and placed the ball perfectly over the try line. Four points to one. The kicking today and trusted uh, to ball four. Yes, we got that old man today. All four building his castle. Appreciation from the crowd as Bobek Wolves takes up his position in his own half. The team watch to see if all four kicking boots on today. Throws the ball across the face. Oh, the right. Come on, boy, get the lead. Four points to nil. Wire four, lead nil. Short, it's a jumping ball. It's taken no. by Paul Cullen. He plays it. Glenn Shaw again. Pushing that away. <laughs> Ken Kelly. Andy Gregory. Lovely pass to Tommy Giddens. Tommy Giddens drives the pass inside, but wisely holds on. It's all man there. It's Carl Webb to Andy Gregory. Lee and Bob Eccles knocks on the referee rules advantage and Lee in possession just inside the Warrington now. Lee coming right. Number 10, Derek Pike. The referee clone is coming to the touchline. He warned him, he sent him off for 10 minutes. Or is he stopping the clock? He's arguing with a an official, one of the league coaching staff, I'm sure. We can see the referee, but he's heard a remark. And Kevin Allett will stand no nonsense, but it's obviously the offender is Alex J. Murphy. Ordered from the bench. Incredible decision. Been quite a while to go. Alex Jamer, the ordered off the bench. Get him on third, Get him Probably get suspended for five pints of log. Well, that was incredible. The referee was miles off the uh, touchline, so Murph must have shouted something rather loud. We didn't hear it. the Warrington chairman and he can't believe it. He's laughing his head off his Alex J. He just doesn't believe it. And he's John Wood with the ball. tackle I'm afraid to say from Mark Foster that was not a nice tackle at all he's bringing every allergy bringing Mark Foster out that very high tackle by Mark Foster and he won't like me saying it but we don't like that sort of thing in rugby league he brings Ken Kelly the Warrington captain to explain and listen to the evidence what he's saying to Mark Foster next time he's off it's a penalty kick to be taken by Roy Howard the mustachioed Roy Howard who bangs the ball left footed into touch and puts Lee in a good attacking position 
They're much depleted, they're certain for the drop, but there's still a lot of spirit in the Lee team. I watched them on Good Friday against Widnes, and the centres, John Woods and John Henderson, played exceptionally well. John Henderson scoring a superb try. He felt pacing. Then on Good Friday, John Henderson, the least under plate. Oh! Oh! A seven five yard against Witness. It was absolutely magic. He now faced Joe Lydon, rounded Mick Burke. That need some doing, believe me. But it's Lee in the Warrington 25. Gary Stevens. And this is Burke again with a nice pass from John Henderson. John Henderson's the dummy half. Johnson playing standoff. It's not the international Chris Johnson not playing today, he's a fullback. Run side pass that went wrong, Woody knocks on, that's John Woods. Woody and Paul Ford on the attack for Wire. Can't quite reach his own 25. And Big Glyn Shaw's the acting half. He gives to Mark Glee. Who's tackled well by Tony Cottrell of Lee? That's Glenn Shaw to Ken Kelly to Tommy Gittins to Bob Eccles. Bob Eccles makes the break, it's a lovely pass in. Two. Come on. Robert's not running very well. Doesn't find a man. Has he lost the ball? I think he has. Come on, Woody, get it sorted. Gary Stevens, much experience from half. Number nine, 
cut in half again to Andy Gregory this time, little shimmy. Oh, lovely pass that to Tommy Giddings. to be in the first team after injury. Lee had and ball, Gary Stevens to Johnson. Johnson to John Henderson. Two men. It doesn't beat Paul Ford. Good tackle there from Ford. Johnson. Roy Howard. Get on side! Well into the wire half. Gary Stevens sidestepping but can't beat Carl Webb. Ray Tavern. Darren Ramsdale, the big number eight for Lee. Coming right, Gary Stevens. Slip pass, it's gone wrong, and Paul Yunane gathered, but he can't quite get away from the grips of Sean Fairhurst, number one for Lee. This is Andy Gregory. Look at the space, it's knocked down. The knock off. <laughs> Very poor attendance for this derby match today. <laughs> Differential penalty to Lee. <laughs> and at the other end. At both ends. Roy Howard to take it. Bang it left footed into touch. Ford to Leisure Centre. Makes no problem of it. Ray Tavern taps. Gives to Darren Ramsdale. Mark Cleave the tackler. Ball coming right for Lee. Gary Stevens, Phil Johnson, Andy Gregory. Doing a bit of a roughing up there, showing who's boss, Gary Stevens. Roy Howard, bit of a juggling trick, down his back, sleight of hand, but he's tackled well. Ten yards to the wire line, Johnson, Tavern, Tavern inside, it's gone wrong, and Wim Shaw has it. Mistakes being made by both sides. That's Mark Lee for Snaddle on tackle. Carl Webb and the referee said the ball wasn't played properly. We've seen so much of this. I'll repeat again, whenever is the ball played according to the rules. Roy Howarth gets another kick and he'll put this into touch easily with his trusty left boot. Fifteen yards to the wire line. Yes, fourteen, thirteen. A bit of a juggle there from Derek Pike, but he holds on. Ray Tavern, dummy half, coming right. Work around here. That's Gary Stevens with a good pass. Tony Cottrell on the wide ten-yard line. Cottrell plays. Coming right, Gary Stevens, Johnson, Pike. Pike turns inside. Gets a nice slip pass into Johnson. Johnson plays, coming left, Gary Stevens almost in the action. That's a nice pass there. A good tackle. Just a few yards. It's the last tackle coming up, six tackle. A bomber here from Gary Stevens under the Warrington sticks. It's a good one, taken beautifully by Bob Eccles with his back to the field of play. That's Paul Ford making the break. The Warrington crowd definitely getting behind Paul Ford now. He's had to step into Hesford's shoes. That's Ken Kelly. He's making a lovely break. John Woods makes a nice tackle. This is Andy Gregory. Andy Gregory with a slip pass to Carl Webb. Carl Webb trying to get the ball out, but he can't. It's on the halfway line. Tommy Gittins is the dummy half. Bring it left to Andy Gregory. Andy Gregory. Bad luck for Paul United. And it's a penalty kick to Lee, which no doubt Roy Howard will take. 
trying to get right this time. Trying to find a spot someone has a on the flag. Taking towards the clock, of course. Ray Tavern. Stephen. Ramsdale. Tavern. Pike. Johnson. Johnson again. opening made and a try well taken by Paul Hartman who I think I'm rightly saying is by no means a first team regular but he took that like a top class second roller he really did try to Paul Hartman goal kicking for leaving and Suster today to Phil Johnson I think there's an indication that Captain John Woods is not perfectly fit or he would definitely be taking the kicks for Lee. <laughs> and it should be easy this and this should make the game more even of course. Bill Johnson, the kicker for lead. He makes no mess with that one, and the score, Warrington 10, the lead 6. <laughs> 20 minutes gone. <laughs> Andy Gregory kicks. <laughs> Wing to make the tackle. He's kicking the ball. And the referee penalises Andy Gregory for kicking at the ball, which in my opinion is half fence because if the ball's on the deck, you're allowed to kick it. It's supposed to be an eight-point advantage to both sides to play the ball, but it never has been and never will. Roy Howard puts the ball on the top of Snookers. And it's Ray Tavern. Derek Pike. Tavern again, acting hard, coming right. Tony Cottrell, number 11, grounded. John Woods comes up, is acting half back. To Gary Stevens, Gary Stevens. Tackled by Mark Roberts, plays it to Tavern. Tavern to Ramsdale, the ball's been moved across the right side. Webb is in there, it was very hard and fair tackle, assisted by Mark Cleave. John Woods gives it to Roy Howard, who puts it with the chip, and I think Paul will recover this no problem. And he beats two men on the sixpence, gives a nice pass to Andy Gregory. Andy Gregory looking the room, gives it inside to Mark Foster.
gives it immediately to Mark Costa. Mark Costa in from the wing and reaches the centre line, right on the centre spot. Plays it to Paul Ford. Paul Ford moves it right to Glyn Shaw. Glyn Shaw gets a nice pass in to the opposite or his fellow prop, Mark Glees. Paul Collins down the half to Ken Kelly. To Paul Ford to Ken Kelly. kicking Penalty to wire. Paul Ford will bang this into touch. I'm sure he won't miss this one. Very good kick indeed. All around. Kelly to take the tap. Andy Gregory working the move. Penalty to wire for sure. Another kick for Paul Ford here. Penalised Tubman for holding the man down. I don't think Tubman was in the tackle. I understand.
secretary manager in the general office, he'll arrange for you to purchase a copy. It's Johnson kicking deep for Lee. Snowy fellows in possession. Beats a man, falls to a three-man tackle. Oh, where? Ken Kelly, Glinshaw, Ken Kelly. Looking for the gap. Finds Webby. Oh, where? Andy Gregory. Mark Reeve. Webb to Andy Gregory. Passing, but doesn't manage it. Plays it to Derek Pike. Derek Pike puts up a bomb. Who's under this one? Oh, and it was just missed by Gary Stevens. And if Gary Stevens had have held that ball, he was unchallenged. He would have gone over for a certain try, but he missed it. And Tommy Giddings brings it away. Slice of luck for Wire. They left it then. And Gary Stevens, if he'd taken it, he would have been over that line. Here's Glenn Shaw. Become a favourite with the wire crowd is Glenn. Andy Gregory. Gets 
It's a nice pass into Webby. Webby to Ken Kelly. Ken Kelly to Mark Roberts. Mark Roberts gets it to Paul Cullen. Paul Cullen is well covered. But he wriggles out of the tackle. And the referee says no play. He does play to Ken Kelly. Ken Kelly brings it left to Webby. Webb to Bob Eccles. Bob Eccles throws the ball back and it's gathered by Carl Webb. Carl Webb going on a solo run. He's going to solo that ball. Last tackle, six tackle. Will it be a bomb? Yes. No, it's Kelly with the chip. I think it's him with the touch. Touch. <laughs> Captain Kelly to take the tap. He has Andy Gregg with him. Run around here, but who comes into the move? Mark Cleave. Ken Kelly, Andy Gregory. Another run around this time. Stops the clock. Let's look at the lead player. Is he always on from Lee? Number seven, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Camera's back in action. You've missed that. Missed 
Just no action. We've got the Lee sub here. Blonde haired young man. A and other. Looks like a Reeves from French rugby union team. Massive blonde hair. Name is A and other on the program. And there's the hooker, and at half time, and the score stands Warrington 18, Lee 6. The Lee Reserves doing very well. And so here we are for the start of the second half. Score standing 18.6. And the talking point all throughout half time is why was Alex Murphy sent off from the bench? And the talking point, point right at the second is what a beautiful touch kick from the centre spot by Paul Ford. Having quite a game. Johnson to kick the touch for Lee. Hands on the roof of Snookers. Disturbs a couple of reds. And it's Lee in possession, Derek Pike, the prop. He's grounded. Gary Stevens. Tavern, Tony Cottrell. Gary Stevens. Tries to make a break, and he's still going through, but it's held by. 
referee, Gary Stevens. Now it's a chip kick from Andy Gregory, and Andy Gregory gathers this, and he's got a full back of Gregory running. He beats the second row man. He puts the pass in, and it's intercepted by John Henderson. Andy Gregory, either hurt or absolutely disgusted with the pass. I think he's disgusted with the pass. But he hurts as well, yeah, he is. So it's Warrington's ball. Tommy Gibbons to Webb, Webb to Kelly, Kelly to Bob Eccles, Bob Eccles tried to slip that to Cullen but couldn't get the ball through, there were two men on him. Ken Kelly to Carl Webb, Bruce, throwing some very bad passes out at the moment. Hold his health together while you need all the points you can get with the Rugby League rearranging these games and forcing Hull to play today. Barrow could come up with the win. Ball Fred from the Ledger Centre side, one of the seven ball, referee Allen not satisfied. Andy Gregory feeds again, it's his ball. Change of pace on and push his men off. Cullen. Fellows. Cullen again. Another. Settled down very well into this game. He's not played 14 rugby before, which I don't think he has. There's this inside pass to Bob Eccles from Kelly. Kelly tries uh, Eccles tries to get it quickly, but he's not allowed to. Lee playing with a lot of spirit. That's Ken Kelly running with a lot of spirit. So many changes on the lead team, they played very well. That's Paul Yunain, gets a nice pass in to Mark Foster, but he can't get anywhere. Good tackle there. This is the sixth tackle coming up, but we'll see. we see a bomber from Paul Ford, but it's taken well indeed by Derek White. And Ken Kelly is injured, Gordon Pinkley giving him some attention as Gary Stevens comes away, but it's tackled very hard by Carl Webb. And this is Derek White. Darren Ramsdale for the Ray Tavern, uh, Gary Stevens. Oh, nice break. Pass to the deck by the Welshman, uh, Minshaw. And it's Gary Stevens this time kicking to touch. It's a good one, and it is a good one. Get on form! A long time, you know, since we've seen the Christian name Paul being linked to the first five players. Five players on the Warrington team. Five goals in a row.
and it's Paul Ford to take the kick. Yes. And he pulls the ball wide. And it's Johnson putting the ball near the centre. Yeah. Not quite on it, so John wants to kick deep, and Paul Yunane takes it safely. And slips. Mark Foss is acting half back. Darren Bazant, normally scrum half, he's brought on number 14 to replace. Go on, let's have another one. The score standing, Warrington 22, Lee 8. A workaround move involving Andy Gregory and Mark Lee. This time it's Carl Webb to Andy Gregory to Ken Kelly. Oh. Another bluff move, and the referee says it's a new man foul. Clean slate, six tackles. Oh. Lee Shaw plays the ball, comes a little last week. Gary Stevens. This again in from Ray Tavern, but the referee says no, it wasn't. Andy Gregory with a run around. And Roberts loses it, but makes sure he doesn't give advantage. He throws the ball down in disgust. We'll have to learn to calm up with the tempo because it's a great prospect, is Mark Roberts. And it's Slee's head and ball, once again being fed from the ledger centre side of the ground so we can't see what happens here in the main stand. It's Slee's ball, John Woods. Full back with it, Fairhurst. Now it's Hardman. Paul Hardman, number 12 for the John Woods, the dummy half. That's Tavern. Stephen to Cottrell. He took it on held. John Woods acting half back. Gary Stevens. He's not stopped trying. Give credit to this lad. John Woods. Hey, another. John Henderson just left him around. Look at him. He put the kick in. And it's covered well by Snowy Fellows. A fine game in defence. Snowy Fellows taking all the kicks. Happy to be back in the first game.
That's Mark Green. Send the other three off. Inconsistency, the rule of rugby league refereeing. <coughs> Ken Kelly has it. Mark Roberts. Paul Cullen. Paul Cullen pips in the chip. And tackles Hartman behind his own line and starts to drop out from underneath the sticks. Which should give Warrington possession. Warrington, three goals, four tries, 22 points. Lee, two goals, one try, eight points. Lee, unfortunately, doomed for the drop into Division 2. Ken Kelly takes a long kick. Hacks it backwards, but he's in possession, looking for space. And they another tackles him well. Slips a pass to Mark Roberts. Mark Roberts trying to beat John Woods. John Woods is assisted in the tackle. John Woods plays. Derek Pike runs onto this. Ray Tabern. He's number nine. Even play another. There's Lee with it, and there's a break here from Hartman. And a nice pass. To Paul Burke, not only wingman. Oh, my God. 
first one we've seen. Bob Eccles. Tommy Gittins. Oh, they're not connected. Oh, well, Andy Gregory. Shoots three men. Mark Lee back in half, going left. Tommy Gittins. Ken Kelly, Ken Kelly. The ball you need. He's going through and he's over. Yes. Nice try. Crossy try. Well worked move. Tommy Gittins and Ken Kelly making space for Paul Yunane. He took the chance well. And puts another four points on the board for Wire.
Kentucky to Warrington. He scored 26 points to eight. Can Warrington make it 30? Can we see another try to the wires here at Wilder School? And it's Glenshaw, Glenshaw dying to score. It's Andy Gregory. He'll bring it right, I think. He doesn't. He takes it left. And Mark Foster has it. But he can't get rid of John Burke on that wing. Steve Hesford's well up there. And I think it's Mark Lee's ball. Steve Hesford in the attack. Dummy Hall gives it to Carl Webb. Carl Webb brought down well. And there's a mix up there. The lovely to play on. Well, I don't know that well. Well, the Warrington spectators don't like the referee, and neither do the Lee spectators. They're all saying it's rough and rubbish. My friend John Stringer sat just alongside me. He's not very happy with the referee's decisions. And it's Gary Stevens, he never stops. John Woods pass to Paul Burke. Paul Burke brought down by Paul Unane. What the name? Gary Stevens puts in a little grubber. Obstructed, but he takes it well and he's still in position. He'll play it. It's six tackle coming up, so we'll probably see a kick here. We'll see a bomb from John Woods. No, he kicks the touch to John Woods. And it's the acting half-back, Hesford dying to get into play, coming into the line, but Glenshaw driving it himself. <laughs> Andy Gregory, Ken Kelly, Mark Roberts, to shade four, but the referee doesn't think so. Gavin Bazan. Mark Roberts plays it, Colin to Andy Gregory, to Ken Kelly, Kelly to Tommy Giddens. Tommy Gittins, he goes down with it. He has Mark Knight coming up from his left. He decided to stick safety. Play at the moment. And this is Carl Webb on the attack. Gaining okay, valuable yardage, but loses the ball, wrenched out of his grip. And the lead behind their own 25 yard line. It's John Woods and a kick at the ball by Cullen, but the referee didn't see it at all. He's missed a lot of things this afternoon as Kevin Allen. Gary Stevens, he's run his little legs off us, Gary, this afternoon. To no avail, losing pay and then a trip all the way back to Yorkshire. Oh dear, this is John Woods. Very close to time. On the halfway line. One, three goals, five tries, 26 points. Two goals, one try, eight points. Man of the match is Bob Eccles. Off the field at the moment, substituted. And there's a kick directly into the touch. And that means ball by a free scrum. Heaven ball from the Legends Centre side, referee not satisfied. I can't see the scrum fed from this side until it's gone, I ask myself. I won't get an answer because I don't know. Gregory feeds. Uh, it's Gary Stevens' ball. He plays it very tight. John Woods. Now it's Tavern. Tavern again. Tavern inside. Tackler. Benefit here coming up for Stephen Hatsford.
points to eight. Handshakes all the way around. Controversial decisions. Sending off from the bench of Alex J. Murphy, the lead manager, the team manager, and the sending off of Tony Cottrell. This is Peter Robinson. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks to Ian Hunter, our cameraman. See you next time.